Good morning students. Today we are going to start a new chapter that is chapter number 8 and it is HCF and LCM. Okay? And in this chapter the first topic we are going to understand is factors. Okay? And it is any natural number that completely divides a given natural number is called a factor of the given number. Means, if any natural number divides any other natural number completely, completely means the remainder will come zero. Okay? So again I am saying completely means the remainder will come zero. So if any natural number divides any other natural number completely then we can say it is a factor of the given natural number. Clear? So let us understand it again through some examples. Here I have given some examples. Here I have divided this 35 by 5 and the remainder is 0. So, we can say that this 5 divides this 35 completely. Why? Because the remainder will come here is 0. Okay? So, here I have written 5 divides 35 completely. So, 5 is a factor of 35. Clear? Here I have given some more examples. Here I have divided this 144 by 6. Okay? And here we can see the remainder is 0. So if we divide 144 by 6, the remainder will come 0. So in this way we can say that this 6 divides this 144 completely. Okay? So here I have written 6 divides 144 completely. So 6 is a factor of 144. Clear? Now, here I have divided 180 by this 12. And here also we can see the remainder will come 0. Okay? So we can say that this 12 divides this 180 completely. So, here I have written 12 divides 180 completely. So, 12 is a factor of 180. Understood? Now, we are going to understand some facts related with factors. Okay? So, the first point is 1 is a factor of every number. Means, if we divide any number by this 1, then this number 1 will divide that number completely. Completely means, the remainder will come 0. Ok? So, 1 is a factor of every number. And the second point is, Every number is a factor of itself. Means, if we divide any number by itself, the remainder will come 0. Okay? So, we can say that every number is a factor of itself. Okay? Now, the third point is, 0 cannot be a factor of any number. Means, 0 is not a factor of any of the natural number. Ok? Now we are going to solve some questions based on factors. Ok? So the first question is, write all the factors of 15 and 84. So here we are going to find all the factors of 15 and 84. So I have started 
from this number that is 50 okay so now we are going to find all the factors of 15 means we are going to find all the numbers that will divide this 15 completely okay so first I have started from number 1 okay and as we know that 1 is a factor of every natural number so this one divides this 15 completely the remainder here is 0 as you can see here okay so 1 is a factor of 15 so here we can write 1 into 15 equal to 15 here I have written 1 into 15 equal to 15 okay now after the number 1 the next number that will divide this number 15 completely is 3 as you can see here 3 5 is a 15 okay so here 3 divides this number 15 completely so 3 is also the factor of 15 okay so here we can write 3 into 5 equal to 15 here 3 into 5 equal to 15 now after this number 3 the next number that will divide this 15 completely is number 5 ok you can check by yourself after 3 the next number that will divide this 15 is 5 and we can see here the number 5 is already present here so now we are going to stop here means if we get a number that will divide the given number is already present here then we are going to stop why we are going to stop because we have got all the factors here here all the factors of 15 are 1 3 5 and 15 ok so here I have written factors of 15 are 1 3 5 and 15 clear now the next question now the next number is 84 so now we are going to find all the factors of this number 84 ok so here is the solution as we know that 1 is a factor of every natural number so 1 into 84 equal to 84 ok 1 divides this number completely and the quotient will be 84 so I have written 1 into 84 equal to 84 clear now after this number 1 the next number that will divide this 84 completely is number 2 and the quotient will be 42 so I have written 2 into 42 equal to 84 clear now after this number 2 the next number that will divide this 84 completely is number 3 and the quotient will be 28 so here I have written 3 into 28 equal to 84 clear now after this number 3 the next number that will divide this 84 is 4 and the quotient will be 21 so I have written here 4 into 21 equal to 84 clear now after this number 4 the next number that will divide this 84 is 6 is 6 and the quotient will be 14 I have written 6 into 14 equal to 84 clear now after this number 6 the next number that will divide this 84 is 7 and the quotient will be 12 so I have written 7 into 12 equal to 84 clear now after this number 7 
द नेक्स्ट नंबर दैट विल डिवाइड दिस एटी फोर कम्प्लीटली इज ट्वेल्व इज ट्वेल्व सो हियर वी कैन सी द ट्वेल्व इज ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट हियर सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टॉप हियर एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी सेड दैट इफ वी गेट a factor that is already present here then we are going to stop here why because in this stage we have got all the factors of the given number so here are all the factors of this number 84 and all the factors of 84 are 1 2 3 4 6 7 12 Fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight, forty-two, and eighty-four. Clear? So at last, I have written the same thing. Factors of eighty-four are one, two, three, four, six, seven, twelve, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight, forty-two, and eighty-four. Clear? Okay. now our next topic is prime numbers okay and it is a natural number that is divisible by 1 and itself is called a prime number in other words a natural number which has only two factors 1 and number itself is called a prime number some examples are here 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 and so on okay means these are the numbers which are divisible by 1 and itself okay so these are the prime numbers which has only two factors that is 1 and the number itself clear so in your maths book the list of all the prime numbers from 1 to 100 is already given and and you have to learn those prime numbers from 1 to 100 okay you have to keep in your mind that what are the prime numbers from 1 to 100 okay so here are some facts related with prime numbers so the first point is every prime number is greater than 1 so we can see that every prime number is greater than 1 okay and the second property is and the second point is 2 is the smallest prime number okay so there are so many prime numbers but the smallest prime number is 2 okay now the third point is all prime numbers are odd numbers except 2 means all the prime numbers are odd numbers only 2 is the only prime number which is even number okay and except this 2 all the prime numbers are odd numbers clear now we are going to solve some questions the first question is write the prime factors of these numbers and the first number is 24 so here we are going to find the prime factors of this number 24 okay so what we are going to do we are going to write here 24 and we are going to check the prime numbers from the beginning that which prime number will divide this 24 okay from the beginning of the prime numbers so as we can see here the prime number 2 will divide this 24 and the quotient will be 12 okay now again we are going to check that 
which number which prime number will divide this number 12 okay and again the prime number 2 will divide this number 12 and the quotient will be 6 and again this number 6 is divisible by the prime number 2 and the quotient will be 3 okay now we are going to check that which prime number will divide this number 3 so now the prime number 2 will not divide this this number 3 so after 2 the next prime number is 3 and the next prime number 3 will divide this number 3 and the quotient will be 1 so as we get 1 here then we are going to stop here okay so now these are the prime factors of this number 24 understood so i have written here 24 equal to the multiplication of all these numbers 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 okay and this line is called prime factorization of this number okay now we are going to write the prime factors of this number 24 so as we can see here this is the prime factorization of this number 24 that is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 and here we can see that only two prime numbers are there the prime number 2 and the prime number 3 okay so the prime factors of 24 will be 2 and 3 so I, at last i have written so at last i have written therefore prime factors of 24 are 2 and 3 okay clear now the next question the question number 2 and here the number is 16 okay so now we have to find the prime factors of this number 16 so here i have written number 16 and what we are going to do the same process we are going to check the prime number which prime number from the beginning that will divide this 16 so as we know that the prime number 2 will divide this 16 and the quotient will be 8 okay and this number 8 it is also divisible by the same prime number 2 and the quotient will be 4 okay now this number 4 is again divisible by the same prime number 2 and the quotient will be 2 and this number 2 is again divisible by the same prime number 2 and the quotient will be 1 so we have got 1 here so we are going to stop here okay so now these are the prime factors of this number 16 so i have written here 16 equal to the multiplication of these numbers 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 so as we can see here that the prime factorization of 16 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 so here we can see in this line only one prime number is here that is the prime number 2 okay so the prime factor of the 16 is 2 so i have written at the last therefore prime factor of 16 is 2 okay the prime factor of 16 is only 2 because in this line only the prime number 2 is here now the next question and the next question is number 70 so again we have to find the prime factors of this number 70 so again we are going to check this number 70 is divisible by which prime number okay so as we can see here this 2 divides this number 70 and the quotient will be 35 okay now this number 35 
is divisible by which prime number? After the prime number 2, the next prime number is 3. Okay? So, the next prime number 3 will not divide this 35. And after the prime number 3, the next prime number is 5. And this 5 will divide this 35. And the quotient will be 7. Okay? Now, this number 7 is divisible by which prime number? The prime number 7. Okay? So, the quotient will be 1. So, we have got 1 here. So, we are going to stop here. Okay? So, these are the prime factors of this number 70. Okay? So, I have written here 70 equal to multiplication of these numbers 2 into 5 into 7. Okay? So, now we can see here in this line that what are the different prime numbers we see here? That the prime number 2, the prime number 5 and the prime number 7. Therefore, prime factors of 70 are 2, 5 and 7. Clear? Now the fourth question and the number is 50. So I have written 50 here and it is divisible by the prime number 2 and the quotient will be 25. Now this number 25 is divisible by the prime number 5. Okay? So the quotient will be 5 and this 5 is again divisible by the same prime number 5 and the quotient will be 1. So as we get 1 here, we are going to stop here and we are going to write 50 equal to the multiplication of these numbers 2 into 5 into 5. Okay? And in this line, what are the different prime numbers we see here? The prime number 2 and the prime number 5. So at last I have written, therefore prime factors of 50 are 2 and 5. Okay? So, in this way, we can get the prime factors of any number. Okay? So, here we have studied two things. Okay? That how to find the prime factorization of any number and how to find the prime factors of any number. Okay? Now, our next topic is highest common factor. In short, HCF. Okay? So, what is highest common factor that we will understand when we will solve some questions? Okay? So, there are three methods of finding HCF. Highest common factor. The first one is common factor method. Second one is prime factor method. And the third one is division method. Okay, so we will start from the first method that is common factor method. Okay, so here is the question. So the question is, the first question is using the common factor method find the HCF of 18 and 24. The first question is 18 and 24. Okay. So now we are going to find the HCF of 18 and 24. Okay? Using common factor method. So the solution is here. I have written here factors of 18 equal to 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. So these numbers are all the factors of this number 18 means these numbers divide this 18 completely. Okay? Now the factors of 24 and all the factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24. So these numbers 
आर द फैक्टर्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर क्लियर नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड द कॉमन फैक्टर्स ऑफ बोथ द नंबर्स मीन्स द फैक्टर्स विच आर फैक्टर्स ऑफ एटीन एज वेल एज द फैक्टर्स ऑफ दिस ट्वेंटी फोर ओके सो एज वी कैन सी हियर दिस वन टू एंड थ्री आर द कॉमन फैक्टर्स ऑफ बोथ द नंबर्स ओके नाउ आई हैव रिटर्न हियर कॉमन फैक्टर्स आर वन टू एंड थ्री क्लियर नाउ दीज आर द कॉमन फैक्टर्स ऑफ बोथ द नंबर्स एटीन एंड ट्वेंटी फोर नाउ अमंग दीज कॉमन फैक्टर्स विच इज द हाइएस्ट नंबर दिस नंबर थ्री इज द हाइएस्ट नंबर सो दिस कॉमन फैक्टर इज द हाइएस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर बिकॉज इट इज द लार्जेस्ट इट इज द हाइएस्ट नंबर ओके सो आई हैव रिटर्न दे आर फोर एस सी एफ हाइएस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर इक्वल टू थ्री and this is our final answer now it is the second question of the same method that is common factor method okay and the second question is we have to find the hcf of 8 12 and 18 okay so i have written here factors of 8 All the factors of eight equal to one, two, four, eight. Clear? Now I have written factors of twelve, and all the factors of twelve are one, two, three, four, six, twelve. Now all the factors of eighteen, and these are one, two, three, six, nine, eighteen. Now. we have written all the factors of 8 here all the factors of 12 here and all the factors of 18 here okay now we are going to find what are the common factors of all these three numbers so here we can see this factor 1 and this factor 2 are the common factors of all these three numbers okay so i have written here common factors are 1 and 2 of all these three numbers okay so among these common factors which is the highest number this 2 is the highest number so i have written therefore hcf equal to 2 this is the highest common factor now it is the time for the second method for finding hcf and the second method is prime factor method okay so the question is using the prime factor method find the hcf of 15 and 25 okay this is the first question we have to find the hcf highest common factor of 15 and 25 so what we are going to do we are going to find or we are going to write the prime factorization of this number 15 first okay so as we have already done this type of process that we are going to divide this 15 by the prime numbers from the beginning okay so first i have divided this 15 by the prime number 3 and the quotient will be 5 now i have divided this 5 with the prime number 5 and the quotient will be 1 so the prime factorization of 15 equal to the multiplication of these two prime numbers 15 equal to 3 into 5 okay and now the prime factor and now the prime factorization of 25 as you can see here 25 equal to 5 into 5 clear so now we are going to find 
द कॉमन फैक्टर विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन ऑफ फिफ्टीन एज वेल एज प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव ओके सो हियर वी कैन सी दिस प्राइम फैक्टर फाइव इज कॉमन सो आई हैव राउंडेड दिस प्राइम फैक्टर ओके एंड नाउ देर इज नो मोर कॉमन प्राइम फैक्टर सो इन दिस केस द एस सी एफ विल बी फाइव so i have written therefore scf equal to 5 okay now the second question 40 60 and 80 so here we have to find the scf of all these three numbers by prime factor method okay so what i have done here i have written the prime factorization of 40 60 and 80 okay so the prime factorization of 40 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 okay and the prime factorization of 60 equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 Okay, now the prime factorization of eighty equal to two into two into two into two into five. Now, now we are going to find the common prime factor. Okay, so as we can see here, the common prime factor is two. This prime factor. is present in all these prime factorization you can see here so i have made a group here okay now after that the same prime factor that is 2 is present in all these three prime factorization okay now this is the another common factor clear so i have made a group here also okay and after that the prime factor 5 is common in all these three prime factorization okay so i have made the group here also now we are going to write the scf so what will be the scf we will write scf equal to 2 2 is for this group okay so for this group we are going to write 2 only one time okay now this 2 is for this group okay and now this 5 is for this group clear so the scf will be scf equal to 2 into 2 into 5 that is equal to 20 2 into 2 4 4 5 0 20 clear so this is the scf of all these three numbers okay now the third question 5 and 8 so here we are going to find the scf of these two numbers okay so what i have written here i have written the prime factorization of 5 and the prime factorization of 8 okay so the prime factorization of 5 equal to 5 why because 5 is itself a prime number so the prime factorization of 5 equal to 5 and the prime factorization of 8 equal to 2 into 2 into 2 okay so now what will be our next step our next step is to find the common prime factors okay 
the common prime factors among these two prime factorizations okay so here we can see there is no common prime factor in both the prime factorization okay so in this case when there will be no common prime factor then then the scf will be 1 okay so i have written here scf equal to 1 clear again i am saying if there will be no common prime factor then the scf will be 1 okay now it is the time for the third method of finding hcf and the third method is division method okay so the question is using the division method find the hcf of the following the first question is 18 and 30 okay so here i have written 18 and 30 so what we are going to do here we are going to divide this greater number 30 by this smaller number 18 okay so here i have divided this 30 by this smaller number 18 so 18 into 1 18 okay so after subtraction the remainder is 12 okay so now we cannot divide this 12 by this number 18 why because this number 12 is smaller than 18 okay so now we will divide this number 18 by this number 12 okay now 12 into 1 12 and after subtraction the remainder is 6 okay and here also we cannot divide this number 6 by this 12 why because this 6 is smaller than this number 12 so now we are going to divide this 12 by this number 6 okay so 6 into 2 12 and in this case the remainder will be 0 okay when the remainder will come 0 then we will get the value of hcf how in this case when the remainder is 0 then this divisor that is number 6 is the hcf okay so i have written hcf equal to 6 clear now the second question 18 24 and 32 so here we have to find the hcf of all these three numbers by the division method okay so in the solution what we are going to do first we are going to find out the hcf of these two numbers so here i have written hcf of 18 and 24 okay so here i have divided this greater number 24 by this smaller number 18 here you can see 18 into 1 18 okay so after subtraction the remainder will come 6 and now we are going to divide this number 18 by 6 okay so 6 into 3 18 and after subtraction the remainder will come here 0 okay so in this case this divisor that is number 6 will be the hcf of these two numbers so i have written hcf of 18 and 24 equal to 6 okay and now we are going to find the hcf of this number 
and the last number 32. Here I have written, you can see here. Now, HCF of 6. This number 6 and the last number 32. Okay? So, what I have done here? Again, the same process. We are going to divide this greater number 32 by this smaller number 6. Okay? So, 6 into 5, 30. And after subtraction, the remainder will come 2. And now, we will divide this 6 by this number 2. 2 into 3 equal to 6. And after subtraction, the remainder will come here 0. Okay? So, in this case, this divisor, this number 2, will be the HCF of these two numbers 6 and 32. So, here I have written HCF of 6 and 32 equal to 2. Okay? So, now the overall HCF of all these three numbers will be this number only. That is number 2. Okay? So, I have written at the end. Therefore, SCF of 18, 24 and 32 is 2. Clear? Okay. Now, we are going to understand co-prime numbers. Okay? So, what are co-prime numbers? Here, I have written. If the HCF of any two numbers is 1, then the two numbers are called co-prime numbers. Means, if we will find out the HCF of any two numbers and if the HCF will come 1, then we can say that the two numbers are co-prime numbers. So, I have written some examples here. First example is 15 and 16. Means, the HCF of this 15 and 16 is 1. That's why 15 and 16 are co-prime numbers. Okay? Now, the second example is 27 and 64. And this 27 and 64 are also co-prime numbers. If you will find the HCF of 27 and 64, the HCF will come 1. Okay? And the third example is 5 and 9. The HCF of 5 and 9 is also 1. Why? Because this 5 and 9 are co-prime numbers. Okay? Thank you.